sub sub flappers so welcome back to another video today we have a lot to talk about but first and foremost yes john lee giveaway still active still going on join my discord subscribe and go read up on the rules in the giveaway channel and that's going to be that we're going to be drawing the winner for the john lee giveaway this saturday at 9 a.m pst on the live stream right here on youtube so make sure you don't miss that if you want a chance to win a john lee now let us continue because in this video we are going to be talking yes about the many things in genshin impact currently that could use a bit of a let's say a, a lift or additions to completely new features that would really be much welcomed at this point okay so I'm going to start off with the one that I've been talking about nonstop. And yes, I will continue to talk about this every single patch until it is added. Do note, this time I did gauge responses from other Genshin creators. Holy smokes, this was a resounding yes, everybody want this. And I'm talking about the artifact preset feature. You, some people call it the quick swap feature the artifact quick save feature it's just a way for you to access your artifact so let's say if i go into my kaching right now oh wow perfect example i'm running the two piece bloodstain and two piece pale flame so what if i want to switch to electro kaching so for example just a button somewhere here in artifacts i can just click over here let's say there was a button somewhere around here that says artifact preset and click and oh a list jumps out and i say electro kaching click apply boom done I don't need to worry about anything else if i wanted to switch to the pale flame set so you click here you go up a list comes up physical dps click it four piece pale flame because i set it that way i get to set my artifact presets i can preload them to any unit that i want it's gonna it's not just for content creators it's for people who want to test different teams in the abyss without completely screwing over your own artifact sets all right that's the first feature i've been talking about this and talking about this and a different content creator has been talking about this non-stuff please mahoyo add this feature we really need it hope to see it in patch 1.6 if not 1.7 please add this feature before another artifact domain drop anyways another thing that i was talking to the content creators about we're just bouncing ideas and apparently this completely slipped my radar so this is going to be more of a feature for newer players who play the game so if you guys look at the map for the veteran players we used to have to go from Mondstadt to Liyue through this tunnel here going through Don Winery through this little valley here and then we had to and then we go through that was how most people got through there were some odd chads who swam all the way you know what Never mind. For most people, we just took this path and we went all the way down to Liyue. But for newer players, they just see this whole area called Dragon Spine and they think, oh wow, I don't need to go over here because I can just walk through this mountain, take a shortcut, and bam, I'm already out here in Liyue, right? It's it's so simple. No, no, it's not. It's Dragon Spine is a noob death trap. Imagine waltzing in here at AR like 10 or 15. You're going to get demolished. You're going to get, you don't even know how half of the game even works yet. And now you get a new thing called, like, what, what is the feature called? I completely forgot it. Frostbites? Well, it's on top of that, the terrain and the need to bring a pyro unit into Dragonspine and whatnot, and just running into all sorts of issues. Beginners are not equipped to deal with Dragonspine. Dragonspine is a, is a zone that you are more likely to, to engage into after clearing Liyue or after you've already visited most parts of Liyue. So there really needs to be a noob safe function, maybe lock the zone off, or maybe if you're under a certain AR level when you're trying to go in, Paimon would just throw you back out, right? Kind of like how it does when we try to leave the zones. Because honestly, it's not a pleasant experience. I can imagine for most players who are waltzed in here, when they're, if you're AR 12, it's not gonna be a pleasant experience. You're just gonna die. You'll have no idea what half of the things even do to you okay so that's gonna be that's gonna be the second thing and furthermore there needs to be incentive to explore the world currently with the new housing system letting us to go out into the open world to collect wood like right, chopping trees very good start it's getting me to visit places that i never needed to go to it's gotten me to go look at different areas explore different optimizations right L getting me to look for wood that did not come out right you guys know what i mean i right i, I i'm looking for trees to 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 chop to <laughs> build a cabinet <laughs> I, I mean i love it i love this i love this feature and i think it gives us more incentive to be exploring the world but currently it's very stale and don't worry we're going to be getting into this whole 
you know, basic feature being stale thing a little later into the video, okay? But we need more features like this that pushes us into the overworld to get us to interact. Right now it's trees and berries and whatnot. I would want more incentive to fight the monsters, right, of the overworld other than just to get ascension material maybe there could be ways to farm for mora with ours so instead of logging off and waiting to come back on we could choose to farm moras by killing monsters or killing groups of monsters or whatever or you could choose to use condensed resin to do your ley lines it's an option it's an alternative that is what i'm saying and i do look forward to seeing how this wood collection feature becomes an alternative in the future. Yes, you can go out, chop trees manually, or you can do this other blah, blah, blah that Mahoyo hopefully integrates into the game to give us more options to collect wood. Same with other reasons to visit the overworld. Now, the next feature would require us to take a visit into the teapot. If I could just find it right here. All right, let's go in because, uh, oh my goodness, stand up, man. All right. So we're going to go into the teapot and I'm sure this is a feature. Uh, it's not a feature. This is a problem that anybody who's been in the teapot likely already ran into. And it's it's such a subtle thing that I, I, I don't know how this got through. All right. So if we go to click Tubby, you talk to Tubby and you get all these things, right? And the, this drop menu. And then let's say I, I want to Realm Depot. All right, all right. So I come into Realm Depot. I purchase my five daily vial depth of speed. Done, right? I go in here, blah, 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 blah. Just look, look around. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Uh, but now I want to go check my trust rank. Normally, you would just back out and it should be bringing you back to that drop menu. But now you, you're forced to talk to Tubby again. And then it pulls up this menu. And then I can go, you know, do my trust rank. Which is absurd. This is such a bizarre thing to deal with. It, and then you go to create. And then, oh, guess what? When you cut back out. So let's say I want to create a couch. Bam, boom, easy. And then... You cut back out and it's gone again. It doesn't bring you back to the drop menu. It's much easier to bring us back to the drop menu and then have us escape again versus us having to talk to Tubby again and then dealing with the dialogue and then showing the menu. So that's just one of the things I, I don't know if you guys get ticked off by this, but I really hope they uh, optimize this and make it much more user friendly. Okay, the next thing I do want to talk about is something that's rooted much deeper into Mahoyo's game design and uh, I guess even their philosophy. And that is the diversification of options and functions and whatnot. What do I mean by that? Great question. All right, so first and foremost, let's just look at the crafting table. There are a couple things, for example, right? Essential oil, how many people are actively using essential oils really be honest with yourself in the game design it's a great concept to have these additional buffs right same thing with this potions how many people are crafting potions to use actively right it's a feature that i feel like mahoyo has forgotten about or it's just so far down the line that they are going to re-optimize that it's all just a hindsight. And this is just the start. This is just the very beginning of these issues that I'm trying to tell you guys about, all right? It's the same with this uh, wind catcher thing where essentially you have to go around, catch these little fairies or something, and then uh, you can store this updraft of air wherever you want and you can use it. it <laughs> It seems like a great feature when they first designed it, but it feels like they never gave it a second look. Once it was implemented into the game, they were just like, all right, what a great job we did. That's another function that the players have to work with, but it never went anywhere. It never became a full-fledged feature. It just kind of like somebody brought it up at a meeting and it was like, you know what? I think we need to be able to give the players a choice to do a venti pressed e on demand, a one time thing, right? And the director loved it so much, they were like, let's do it. And that was it. Of course, there's a whole slew of these kind of things. And I, I know some people have issues with uh, these magical ores as well. I was talking to my uh, fellow creators and they were, where, where is, where is everything? Like, where is it? It should be here. No. Yes. Oh, these things magical crystal chunks uh, using resin to craft weapon enhancement ores right the i think they're over here using resin to craft mystical 
Mystic Enhancement Orb. There we go. It it just feels like such a misuse of resin. And it's another one of these features where they were like, you know what the players need? More ways to use their resins. Because we get way too much of it, apparently. So they came up with this feature. Or like they were thinking, what's we have ways for them to get Mora. We have ways for them to get EXP books. We need a way for them to use resin to get Mystic Enhancement Orbs. And this was just... In the moment, somebody was like, we can do this. And then the director loved it so much. And he was like, let's do it. And then that was it. There was ne never any follow through with these features. And there's a ton of them in the game. There's a ton. I'm sure you guys have some of your own features that you're like, yeah. Yeah, really, they need to look at this and be like, all right, how do we take this great feature and make it better? So for today's keyword it's going to be no, all right? Very simple word. Make sure to include it in your comment if you want to win the Zhongli giveaway, a chance to win the Zhongli giveaway. That's going to be it for this video. So those are a lot of the features, both big and small, and some quality of life in between features that I do think Mihoyo really needs to start looking at going forward into making changes for the game. Genshin has come a long way. We have a whole slew of features now, and some are just a little subpar in comparison to the other, all right? So that's gonna be it. I hope to see you all in tomorrow's video and of course to see you all on Saturday's live stream. So until tomorrow's video, stay safe and peace, peace.